Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. Today we are going to do triple five timer simulation. There are three types of mode. Monostable mode, which is also known as a one shot pulse generator. And the bistable mode, something like a flip flop. And the last one is the unstable mode. It is also known as a free running mode. And mostly it used into the wave generation, a square wave pulse generation. So first search a part that is a triple five timer. Okay. Search here. Triple five timer. And uh, apart from this triple five timer, we need a register and the capacitor. So search a register. Place it. And one more capacitor. We need a two capacitor and two register with a different value so this is a capacitor now what we need to do here we must sort 4 and 8 together if we are making here unstable mode ok 4 and 8 must be sort together and it must be connected with the plus 5 volt and there must be a capacitor between 5 and ground so this is 5 ok connect this terminal with the 5 and register in between 7 and 6 so this is sorry just control Z drag it here and just rotate it clockwise so register here in between 7 and 6 6 and 2 must be connected together so connect 6 and 2 together and 1 will be the ground so we can select the ground and power from here so just make it a plus 5 plus 5 volt and here it is ground must be connected with the 1 and this terminal of the capacitor must be connected with the ground see here these two connections are not connected together okay, if, it is, if it is connected then it will be so like something this the C1 capacitor must be a 10 microfarad Okay, what is uh, I think I am missing a capacitor between six and ground. Okay, so connect a capacitor here. Between six and ground and also there must be a register between 7 and 8 ok so now this is a I stable free running mode of the triple 5 timer so now let's see how we will calculate the frequency of the generated wave so the final output will come at a pin number 3 we can see into the oscilloscope and uh, we may get an oscilloscope from uh, let's let's sorry, from here so here it is oscilloscope connect here fine and uh, here you can find into the wikipedia this is the formula for the frequency generation f is equal to the 1 upon ln2 into c and that C is C2 and R1 plus 2 time of the R2 and the high time is ln2 into C into R1 plus R2 and the low time is ln2 into C into R2 so now let's make a random values here let's make a it 10k that is fine no problem let's make it 1k and 
this one which 100 nano farad and this one is 10 micro farad okay now run it see here what we are seeing here the pulse the means the high time is very high and the low time is very low now verify with the formula so the high time is very high and the low is very low so the low is low means the r2 is low and the r1 plus r2 is a very high fine so what we need to do for uh, making a higher low we can increase a r2 okay so the r2 is the register which are connected between the 7 and 6 a register which are connected between 7 and 6 so this register we can make it 10k let's see this time the low time is low time has been increased now using a this formula which is mentioned here in Wikipedia you can calculate the exact frequency and the total time period and uh, the clock duty cycle also duty cycle of the generated wave you can calculate by using this formula how you can do uh, you can write ln2 into c into r1 plus 2 r2 okay this is the total time and the high upon the total time will be the duty cycle so this one upon this one will be the duty cycle so uh, that's all what you need to do the simulation thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial